went to Ulta and then I made an unexpected trip to Sephora and I did a little haul on my stories yesterday. Now I'm gonna, I guess, just get ready for the day and film a first impressions on the things that I got. One of the things I was most excited for, literally, I've never bought anything from Natasha Denona. Skin Glass Energizing and Hydrating Primer Serum. It says it helps with oil control. It has hyaluronic acid. Can you, can you, shh, shh, shh. But let's get to priming and I'm gonna show you this super beautiful, pearly, gorgeous primer. Look at this. I guess I'll put it on like this. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna be shining bright like a diamond. So it has like a pearly kind of finish and it's a primer serum. So it has like a bunch of skincare in it. It kind of smells a little bit like baby powder, which I do I hate baby powder, like the baby powder deodorants. Mm, yeah, I don't like the smell, but it's nothing like too crazy. I don't know. You can see the sheet in, I think, a little bit. Some of you messaged me on my Instagram haul and were like, oh my gosh, that's the best primer ever. For the longest time ever, literally for years, I have been ride or die NARS girly for their radiant like 16 hour wear foundation and then their new one that just came out the radiant light i think but i just wanted to try something new complexion is like my favorite thing so at ulta i got the lancome tint eatable ultra wear i don't know if that's how you say it but it is up to 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant it also said it was sweat resistant. Yes, it does come in a pop. Perfect. This is what it looks like. And my sh color is 360 bisque neutral. I did the two pumps and I feel like two pumps was a little bit too much. I feel like I feel like that is my color. Usually you can like swatch it here on your like jaw neck area. And you will see if it's a perfect match for you. Let's rub this in and see what it looks like. Honestly, I think it's a perfect match. I'm not usually really like a full coverage foundation kind of girl, but now that fall is coming around, I still want like a satin finish, I guess but more full coverage. First impression, I like it. If you're not already following me on my Instagram or TikTok, make sure you're following me on there because I do like live updates. So far, so good. I also got a new concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I got the color seven medium Moyen. It looks like this. It says it conceals, corrects, brightens lips, the look of the skin. Medium buildable coverage and 16 hour wear. Let's put some of this. Wow. Honestly. Wow. I feel like it just seamlessly blended and like melted into my skin here's concealer eye no concealer eye let's also cover all my veins and discoloring on top of my eye lid okay bright eye tired eye <laughs> I found my new favorite concealer. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. I've always, always, always struggled with under eye bags. Wow, look at the way it highlighted my chin. Okay, I'm so obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with the concealer. Oh. Wow, 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 so obsessed. 
Okay, so from Rare Beauty, we got the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. I got the shade Happy Soul, and it's spelled S-O-L like sol in Spanish, sun. So this is how it looks. It's just a little stick. I love Rare Beauty, honestly. This is the color. And let me grab my brush. I always use this little kabuki kabuki brush i don't know what it's called from real techniques it's just called the expert face brush you can literally barely read it <laughs> okay i always cream contour cream contouring is the best thing ever if you haven't tried it you need to so just do that and uh it honestly feels like butter it feels really nice going on Am I putting on too much? Maybe. Is it the wrong color? I don't know. This is how I always contour my jaw. Everybody says, oh my gosh, your face is so small for your body frame. No, I just contour it. <laughs> I feel like this is very buildable. Blends really easy. What more could you ask for? It looks really good. Really, really good. Yeah, it's so easy to blend, honestly. Love it. It feels it feels great. Thanks, Selena. Okay, here's what we're looking like. I think it's looking really good. Very airbrush. Complexion is looking great. Okay, Laura Mercier powder. Always go to. I also really love the hourglass powder, but that one's a little pricey. I also use the Real Techniques brush 241. Yeah, you might see Bean's little baby nose. Okay. For brows, really quick, I'm not gonna. I mean, there's nothing special. I literally just filled them in. Benefit precisely my brow in 3.75. <laughs> next new product i'm super excited Too faced came out with i don't know if it's new but they have like a chocolate collection and i got the most perfect brown liner let me show you what i've been using i've been using this nyx lift and snatch it's actually like a brown marker to like create hair strokes on your eyebrows but i have been using it in like as an eyeliner what color oh i use ash brown this is honestly really good for your eyebrows also good for eyeliner but i wanted something more long wearing that is actually meant for your eyes the better than sex chocolate eyeliner and the color is just called chocolate it says it's easy glide waterproof liquid eyeliner this is what it looks like let's put it on Am I gonna fly away? Wow, she's sharp. I got these really, really pretty eyelashes from Juvia's Place. I've never tried anything from Juvia's Place. I've heard really amazing things from Juvia's Place. The thing that drew me to these eyelashes were, let me open them so you can see, because the glare is showing. But if you see, it goes to like kind of cat eye and it has more volume on the end here i've already cut the lashes and i've already put the lash glue on it this is the lash glue i use duo the brush on clear one it's green i think and then the key to having the perfect lash is always cutting the inside corner just a little bit and then um, letting your glue dry enough. The other trick to putting the lashes is you need a good mirror. You are gonna flip the mirror like this upside down and you can kind of already see how you can see my eye. I'm gonna like look down so I can see the top of the lash line and you just place it down so you can see perfectly. And you always want to stick the center down first. And then you adjust the corners. 
These are pretty dramatic. These are the lashes, Juvia's Place. This is where it says the size 15, hold on. 15 mm millimeters, I'm guessing that's what that stands for. But other than that, it also just says medium volume, but it, it doesn't really, I don't think they like, I don't think they have a name. Let's do our lips real quick. I got two new lip products, Too Faced Lip Plump, Maximum Plump. I love this lip plumping gloss. It is the most plump I have ever seen my lips. This really, really, like if you want an intense plump, get the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I really like this one, hold on. It has like a brownish kind of like sheen to it. It's just, really really pretty and it also smells like chocolate this is how it looks i don't know it just gives me like the 90s grungy kind of like you know how they had like the sheen kind of look to their lips i don't know so i got that one and then i also got a new color of my favorite other favorite lip plumping i don't know what you would call this if it's a lip gloss or they just call it lip plump it's not a lipstick it's not a lip gloss i don't know what kind of formula this is but i really love it i actually have this same exact lip um i don't know what the other color that i use is called but it's more like a brownish i picked up this pinkish color called primrose it's like a pink i always struggle finding my perfect pink you just like pump the bottom here like that and then it comes out and yeah i don't know i feel like i'm gonna do a lip with the plumping gloss I'm gonna take my favorite 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 lip liners are jacqueline hill cosmetics or i think it's just jacqueline cosmetics i have two of these they're both brown this is gonna be hot tea that i'm gonna use <laughs> i just looked in the mirror who's gonna tell me that my lashes are all lifted up i will fix those okay are you ready for this I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Maximum Plump in Chocolate Brown, I think that's what it was called. Look at how gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, let's fix these lashes real quick. Okay, the lashes are all fixed. This is the final makeup look. That's it. I'm not gonna go fix my hair or anything right now. I need to finish my coffee. I need to start some laundry and i need to pack my clothes for new york fashion week but this is it foundation i give it a nine um it hasn't oxidized it hasn't changed any colors concealer 10 out of 10 would repurchase i love it bronzing stick from rare beauty nine out of ten it's good but mm, it's just good i just love any cream contours the Too faced lip plump gloss obsessed lashes from juvia's place a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 Too faced 10 out of 10 juvia's place the natasha denona primer i do not notice anything right now but it could be that i just need to do my makeup without it to see first like what my makeup would look like without that underneath the only thing like why it's not a 10 out of 10 for me for natasha denona primer is because of the smell like i can still smell it on my hands and i hate the smell of baby powder other than that i really like all the new products i will not be making any returns i am keeping everything i really feel like the natasha denona primer serum would really be pretty on its own too with a little bit of concealer so here it is final look it's been like five or six hours now. I filmed all day. I ate lunch, breakfast, lunch. And this is what the makeup is looking like. Honestly, I'm not mad. 